Is there another planet that's very close to Earth, kind of like us, where there could be a civilization? Yeah, I mean, the closest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, actually has a fairly Earth-like planet around it. We don't know quite how Earth-like it is, but if you, you know, it's called Proxima b. Proxima Centauri b is the name of the planet. The James Webb Telescope has uncovered something unsettling on Proxima b, evidence of chaos and destruction that no one saw coming. New data reveals that this distant world is far from safe, raising haunting questions about what truly lies beyond. Is this a warning of what could become of Earth, or does it signify something even more sinister? Join us as we uncover the shocking discoveries about Proxima b that are pushing humanity toward the edge. Strange lights on Proxima b have left scientists baffled. As the closest exoplanet to Earth, orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, just over four light years away, Proxima b has fascinated researchers since its discovery in 2016. Its position within the habitable zone of its star suggests the potential for liquid water, a crucial element for life as we know it. Recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed a far more complex and unsettling reality. What the telescope discovered on Proxima b is not only more disturbing than anyone anticipated, but the surprises don't stop there. Unlike Earth, Proxima b is tidally locked, with one side always facing its star and the other shroud in perpetual, perpetual darkness. Initially, scientists speculated that if advanced life existed, they might have developed technologies to distribute energy between the day and night sides, possibly through solar panels or artificial illumination. This theory was intriguing, until Webb's sensors detected some unexpected signals. Detecting artificial light on distant planets has been proposed as a potential method for identifying technologically advanced civilizations. With its highly sensitive instruments, the Webb telescope captured faint yet unusual light emissions from the dark side of Proxima b. These signals showed remarkable similarities to the artificial light produced by humans. However, while it's tempting to view this as evidence of alien technology, the situation is far more complex and possibly more unsettling. Scientists examined the light patterns and identified irregularities that don't correspond to natural phenomena, such as volcanic activity or auroras. If these emissions are artificial, they may indicate the presence of a civilization as advanced as our own. But what kind of society could thrive in such extreme conditions? More importantly, what might they be capable of? Proxima b is far from a hospitable environment. The red dwarf star it orbits unleashes violent solar flares that could gradually strip away a planet's atmosphere. These flares bombard the surface with intense radiation, shaping a harsh and unforgiving world. Yet, if life exists there, it must have evolved to endure or even leverage these challenges. This raises thought-provoking questions. Could such a civilization see Earth as a resource or refuge compared to their hostile world? And if they've mastered survival on Proxima b, just how advanced might their technology be? Adding to the mystery, a narrowband radio signal, reminiscent of the kind used in Earth's communication systems, was detected coming from Proxima b in 2021. This wasn't random noise, it was transmitted at a specific frequency, suggesting an artificial origin. While its exact source remains unconfirmed, the possibility of it being a message from an intelligent civilization cannot be dismissed. Even more unsettling, the signal wasn't a one-time occurrence. Subsequent observations revealed recurring patterns, almost as if the sender were attempting to establish contact. But are they reaching out in friendship, or could their intentions be far more ominous? As scientists delve deeper, the implications of these discoveries grow increasingly unsettling. The possibility of artificial lights on Proxima b's dark side hints at a technological sophistication that could surpass our own. If these lights truly originate from an intelligent civilization, what might their purpose be? Are they simply a means of survival, or do they represent something far more profound? Throughout human history, exploration has often led to conquest. As we study Proxima b, we must ponder how such advanced civilizations might view us. If we've detected them, it's likely they've already noticed us. In light of Earth's fragile environment, would they regard us as a civilization worth preserving, or merely as another obstacle in their way? 
What we've discovered about Proxima b sparks both intriguing possibilities and significant warnings, challenging our understanding of the universe and its implications for humanity. The growing importance of these findings underscores a sobering truth. The search for extraterrestrial life is no longer driven purely by curiosity, but by the need to prepare for the unknown. Proxima b may not be just a distant, barren planet. It could serve as a sign of what lies ahead, a glimpse into a future where humanity is no longer alone, but must confront challenges greater than ever imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope's exploration of Proxima b is just beginning. Upcoming missions aim to gather even more precise data, focusing on its atmospheric composition and potential biosignatures. These efforts will demand unparalleled precision and collaboration, given the monumental stakes involved. The detection of Proxima b's radio signals demonstrates how far science has advanced and how much more there is to uncover. The possibilities are vast. Astronomers continue to refine their techniques, leveraging Webb's advanced capabilities to analyze Proxima b's atmosphere. Their goal is to identify critical gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. The essential elements for life as we know it. Exploring Proxima b's potential for habitability goes beyond mere academic interest. It challenges us to reconsider our place in the universe. If we were to confirm the presence of advanced life on Proxima b, what would it mean for humanity? Could it bring us together, or would it amplify our divisions? Meanwhile, scientists face the immense task of interpreting data from light years away. Thanks to the Webb Telescope's ability to detect faint signals, astronomers can distinguish between natural phenomena and possible artificial emissions. This careful analysis ensures that conclusions are grounded in solid evidence, not mere speculation. The James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries about Proxima b are part of a larger scientific effort. Researchers are studying exoplanets like Proxima b not just to search for life, but to understand planet formation and evolution. For centuries, humanity has been intrigued by the possibility of life beyond Earth. And now, these observations are bringing us closer to answers than ever before. Exploring the possibilities beyond Earth raises profound and complex questions. How should we approach the unknown? What would it mean if we discovered life elsewhere? Proxima b, being relatively close to Earth, stands out as a prime candidate for further study. This planet offers a rare opportunity to investigate something that could dramatically shift our understanding of the universe. What if intelligent life exists there? How would we attempt to communicate with them? And perhaps the most challenging question, should we even try? Just because we have the ability doesn't always mean we should act on it. The James Webb Telescope has provided us with an extraordinary new perspective on the stars and beyond, but each discovery only deepens the questions. Proxima b may just be the beginning of what we uncover in space. As we delve further into the universe, we may uncover both the answers we seek and challenges we never anticipated. Each new finding opens a door to more possibilities, some of which could completely alter our understanding of our place in the cosmos. The insights we gain from studying Proxima b will help guide us as we continue our exploration of the unknown. Science isn't just about finding answers, it's about asking the right questions. The quest for life beyond Earth goes beyond mere curiosity. It's about deepening our understanding of who we are and our place in the universe. This journey will push us beyond our limits, challenge our beliefs, and help shape the future of humanity. As we venture further into space, Proxima b serves as a reminder of the importance of thoughtful exploration. It's not just about what we discover, but how those discoveries impact us. What would it mean to find life on another planet? Could it change the way we treat our own world? The search for life in the stars might redefine our very concept of humanity and make us think in ways we never have before. Space exploration isn't just a scientific endeavor. It's an opportunity to push the boundaries of our knowledge and imagination. As we continue to uncover the mysteries of the universe, we're not just shaping our future, but learning what it means to explore with care and curiosity. Our journey didn't end with Proxima b. It's been unfolding over years, revealing planets in a universe far more complex than we ever imagined. The golden age of planetary exploration, the story of how we've explored our solar system, is truly astonishing. 
For millennia, humanity gazed at the stars, wondering what lay beyond. It wasn't until recent centuries that we began to piece together the vastness of the universe. Once the 1950s arrived, everything changed. Robotic spacecraft became our tool to push human curiosity beyond Earth, marking the start of a new era of discovery. During the late 1950s, the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in an intense rivalry to explore space, both setting their sights on the moon. The U.S. had a rocky beginning, with its early pioneer missions stumbling through four consecutive failures. But they didn't give up. By 1959, Pioneer 4 succeeded in breaking free of Earth's gravity, collecting data as it passed by the moon. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union's Luna missions were making history. Luna 1 zipped by the moon, Luna 2 impacted its surface, and Luna 3 sent back the first ever images of the moon's far side, offering humanity a brand new perspective. The 1960s marked a significant leap in space exploration. In 1962, NASA's Mariner 2 made history by successfully flying past Venus and revealing crucial information about its atmosphere. Three years later, Mariner 4 captured attention with the first flyby of Mars, taking photographs that showed a rocky, cratered surface. This discovery shattered earlier ideas of a lush, Earth-like Mars. No longer just a red dot in the sky, Mars became a captivating world calling for deeper exploration. The 1970s and 1980s were a golden age for space exploration. NASA's Viking program landed two spacecraft on Mars in 1976 to search for life and study the planet's geology and atmosphere. While no signs of life were found, the data collected was groundbreaking. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union made remarkable achievements with its Venera missions to Venus. In 1970, Venera 7 became the first spacecraft to land on another planet and send data back, even surviving Venus's extreme heat and crushing pressure. Subsequent missions revealed the harsh, hellish conditions of Venus, with molten rock and sulfuric acid clouds. While the Viking and Venera missions were remarkable, the Voyager program was truly legendary. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 redefined our understanding of the outer planets. Voyager 1 delivered breathtaking images of Jupiter and Saturn, along with detailed views of their moons and ring systems. Voyager 2 ventured even farther, becoming the only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune. Throughout their journey, they uncovered 48 moons, active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, and new planetary rings. Even after completing their primary missions, the Voyagers continued to send valuable data from the far reaches of the solar system. By the 1990s and early 2000s, space exploration was progressing rapidly. The Galileo spacecraft, launched in 1989, provided a detailed view of Jupiter and its intriguing moons. Europa, with its icy exterior and potential subsurface ocean, emerged as a key target for future missions searching for signs of life. Next came the Cassini-Huygens mission, a collaboration between NASA and the European Space Agency. Arriving at Saturn in 2004, Cassini unveiled the planet's breathtaking rings and unusual moons. Its Huygens probe even landed on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, discovering lakes of liquid methane and a thick, orange-hued atmosphere. Asteroids and comets quickly became key targets for exploration. Japan's Hayabusa mission made history by returning samples from asteroids, offering valuable insights into the solar system's early days. The European Space Agency's Rosetta mission went even further, not only orbiting a comet, but also landing a probe on it. Just picture chasing a fast-moving icy rock through space and landing on it. The data collected from Comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko felt like unlocking a cosmic time capsule. Mars has consistently been the main attraction. NASA's rovers, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance, have traversed its surface, revealing signs of ancient rivers and lakes. Perseverance, which landed in 2021, is pushing the boundaries further by collecting samples that could eventually be returned to Earth. And let's not overlook Ingenuity, the small helicopter that demonstrated powered flight is possible on another planet. That's a major milestone for drones everywhere. Space exploration is not solely an American endeavor. Other nations have made remarkable contributions as well. China's Chang'e program has achieved successful lunar landings and even brought back samples from the moon. India's Mars Orbiter mission, 
affectionately known as Mangalyaan, provided valuable insights into Mars's atmosphere, accomplishing all of this on a budget that could rival Hollywood's. European missions, such as Rosetta and Mars Express, have also been instrumental in broadening our understanding of the universe. Exploration has deepened our understanding of the cosmos, but what's on the horizon? The focus is now turning to icy moons and sample returns. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons with a hidden ocean, is a prime target for missions like NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper. Mars is preparing to send its first rock samples back to Earth, which could provide key insights into its ancient history. And who knows what lies ahead? As technology continues to evolve, the possibilities for discovery are limitless. One thing is certain, our journey through the solar system is only beginning. Despite the many discoveries we've made, the greatest mysteries of the universe still have us seeking answers to what we have yet to comprehend. The universe's biggest unsolved mysteries create an image of a vast, chaotic realm filled with questions yet to be answered. Take dark matter, for example. It's the unseen force that holds galaxies together, but its composition remains a mystery. Scientists have proposed theories like WIMPs or axions, but none have been proven. It's almost maddening to know it exists while being clueless about its true nature. Then there's dark energy, another perplexing force. This invisible entity makes up most of the universe and seems to be causing it to expand at an accelerating rate. We label it energy, but in truth, that's just a placeholder for something we barely grasp, an astronomical puzzle that continues to baffle scientists. The Big Bang presents yet another mystery. We have a general understanding, everything originated from a small, hot, dense point. But what sparked it? What came before, if anything? And where is it all heading? Eternal expansion? A big crunch? Or something in between? It's like reading a book's middle chapters, without knowing the beginning or end. Even galaxies are full of unanswered questions. While we know the basics, gas clouds collapse, stars form, and black holes grow. Why do some galaxies take on a spiral shape while others are irregular? And why do nearly all galaxies feature supermassive black holes at their centers? Are these black holes the architects of galaxy formation or just random outcomes of cosmic turmoil? Black holes are nature's greatest mystery. When something gets swallowed by one, it disappears. Poof. At least from our view. But where does that matter actually go? Could it show up somewhere else? And what about the singularity? The point where everything is crushed. What is that even? 